Okay, so here's the third question. In this question, you are asked for the, to determine the expression of the shaded area here. And if you look closely, all of these rectangles are the same size. You cannot assume this, you have to look. x plus 2 is one side, x is the other side. x, x plus 2, x, x plus 2, x, x plus 2. Okay? You might also notice too, for fun, is that if this length is x and this is x, even though my drawing's not to scale, if the whole side is 3x, this must be x here. I'm not sure if I need that, probably not, but that's okay. We can put things in anyway. There's a little x. Okay, things like that for you to look at. If this is x plus 2, and this is x plus 2, what is this? Well, the whole thing is 5x, so we have 3x that we're missing. And then we have 4, and we have to go to negative 12, so negative 16 is this little part. Those are just little things that may, may or may not help you. We can actually solve it in a long way using that, but we'll do the subtraction way. It's a little bit easier in this situation. So take a look. If you can solve more than one way, you're even better off. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a rectangle that has four identical pieces taken out. So if we take the area of the entire rectangle and take these away, boom, 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 we are left with exactly what we're looking for. Okay? So let's find the area of the large rectangle. The formula you use is base times height. Now, as we mentioned before, for a rectangle, it does not matter which, which side you put in for the base or the height, because I can turn it, I can rotate it, and then the sides will change. All you're doing is multiplying one by the other. So let's do this. Let's go 3x times 5x minus 12. You can also do 5x minus 12 times 3x. But you notice in both situations, I put the 5x minus 12 in brackets because you're multiplying everything in there. This one is 3x times 5x. 3 times 5 is 15. x times x. Remember, they have the same base, so you must add the exponents. There's a little hidden 1 here, so your exponent is 2. And then 3x times negative 12, which is negative 36x. Okay? Can I put these together? Can I simplify? Well, they're not like terms. This is x squared and this is x. So that's as far as I can go on this one. Just to prove to you that it's exactly the same thing over here, we'll use the distributed law again. So 5x times 3x is 15x squared. Negative 12 times 3x is negative 36x. Both of them are exactly the same. Okay, so like I said, if you can do it two different ways, even better. Okay, now let's find the area of a small triangle. Let's do one. We know we have four. Excuse me, a small rectangle. Let's do one and then multiply it by four because we have four of them. So again, the area of the small is base times height. Base is x, the height is x plus 2. You can reverse them as we did up top, if you like. x times x, there's a 1 here, there's also a 1 in front. So x times x, is, 1 times 1 is 1, x times x is x squared. x times positive 2 is positive 2x. Okay, so there is your small triangle. Now I have four of them. So I can do this, 4 times x squared plus 2x. Because there are 4, multiply it by 4, which gives me 4x squared plus 8x. You can also, just to show you how this works, you can also add 4 of them. Now this might, this is a little tedious, but just to show you, if you ever doubt what you're doing, go back to what you know. You know how to add these. There's 2x. Always go back to what you know and you can prove yourself right. So there are four boxes. 2x plus 2x plus 2x plus 2x is 8x. x squared plus x squared plus x squared plus x squared is 4x squared. Okay, it's exactly the same answer. So be confident. Trust what you know. Okay, so my two important parts are going to be, let's put them in red here because I have a couple circles. My two important parts are this. This is my entire rectangle. And these are my four little rectangles. So I want to subtract them. So my final area is the area of my large rectangle. This is a nice way to show things and keep you really organized. Minus four times the small area of the small rectangle. Okay. 
This is all subscript. So it says they're both A stands for area for both, but the subscript gives more description. So my large rectangle is 15 x squared minus 36x minus, I'm going to subtract absolutely everything here, 4x squared plus 8x. Okay, I have to put it in brackets because I'm subtracting not just the 4x squared, but I'm also subtracting the 8x. <clears throat> okay, let's simplify this. Nothing happens to the first part. Now remember when I'm subtracting, this is a positive 4x squared. The first number in an expression rarely does not have a positive sign on it. It's, it's invisible. If it's negative, you'll see a negative sign though. So I am subtracting a positive 4x squared, which is the same as subtracting 4x squared. Remember, subtracting positive 4x squared. These two combine to make a negative, so it is minus or subtracting 4x squared. The same concept for the 8x. I am subtracting a positive 8x, which is like subtracting 8x. Okay, now you look at this and you say, well, can I collect terms? Well, I have x squared. Remember, there's a little hidden positive here. Then I have negative 4x squared here. The negative is very important. It goes with the 4x squared, not with the 36x. So 15x squared minus 4x squared is 11x squared. And then what else can we combine? Well, we have negative 36x minus 8x. Now remember on your number line, you start at negative 36 and you're subtracting, which means you're going this way. So you're going uh, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You're going deeper and deeper into the negative. You actually end up at negative 44. So you have negative 44x. And that is the extent of it. If you're wondering why the negative and the negative did not make a positive, that's only in multiplication and division. Okay, In addition and subtraction, you have to think about it as far as the number line goes. So there is my answer. I put a rectangle around it. Sorry, I meant to put a rectangle. Oh, there's an 11. There it is. 11x squared minus 44x. Let's put it out here. 11x squared minus 44x. Okay, and there you have it.